If your partner inherited a lot of money, would you expect anything? What worries me the most is that he wouldn't buy you a blanket. He's definitely not obligated to buy you anything. But I don't buy things for my wife because I have to. I buy them for her because I care about her and I want her to be happy. There is so much here. Seven years. That's a long time. Why do you do his shopping and cleaning? What is he providing for you? The huge shopping binge for fun stuff is cool and all. But what you asked for wasn't expensive. It was a reasonable ask for items it sounds like you kinda needed. And he put crazy junk before those needs. I realize an electric blanket is not a must-have. But it's a useful item and yours broke. I would be put out. Yes. It makes it feel. Dot not so much like a partnership at all? This sounds more like the attitude half of a young couple might have who had been dating a few months. Does he generally have a bean counting attitude about money? Where he never concedes to give you any? Does he do things that indicate he sees this as a partnership? I am still stuck on the shopping, cleaning thing. TBH. In legal situations, inheritances belong to the person who received them. For example if you were married and divorced that would be considered his money only. With that said, you've been doing his shopping and cleaning for five years and you don't live together and he couldn't even buy you a small thing? That shows you how much he appreciates what you've been doing for him all this time. I'd say it's time to let him take care of himself. I would never call someone I don't live with or share some amount of financial responsibility with a partner. So yeah, if my partner of seven years inherited money, I would expect it would benefit our life together. What you have here sounds more like a leech. Seven years in, you don't live together. You shop and clean for the guy. And he can't buy you a damn blanket? Genuinely, where do you see this relationship going? Not to be rude, but you sound more his maid, secretary and less a partner. Reddit is wild lately lol. You are not wrong. Can I have half of your inheritance to fly to Vegas with my friends for a holiday week? Equals YTA. Any chance you can pick up some chicken wire and an electric blanket because I can't afford it? Equals NTA and your partner is pretty effin' stingy. What cleaning responsibilities do you have if you don't live together? I'd expect the money to go towards bills, saving accounts, the boring stuff like that which is important. This ma'am sucks if he won't buy you chicken wire and a blanket. Prediction this guy will be losing half of his inherited money in the near future. You're not his wife, so he's not obligated to share with you. That being said, you're seeing his true feelings about you. Having money gives people room to be more of who they really are. It looks like he will not have it long. I just checked price of those things and it's pretty cheap actually. Even I can afford them and I live in a third world country. It's weird. I've been responsible for all his shopping, cleaning etc. He is taking you for granted due to this. Why were you guys not splitting from the start? What junk did he buy? Maybe he already spent all his money and is ashamed to tell you that? I have, and still do, lived in poverty for my entire life. I'm cheap as often as I can be. But I'm also the first person to offer to pay for something if someone I care about needs it and I have the ability to do so. Your partner came into double digits money and won't buy a damn blanket for the person who basically does everything for him. You've been with him for several years. He didn't even consider to get you something. Which is the first thing I'd do if I came into money. I'm also disabled, homebound and sometimes bedbound and not employed. If my partner asked me for a heated blanket, I'd get him the blanket. 
I don't care what I have to do to make a few bucks and buy him the blanket. It's a small luxury that doesn't at all compare at all to what he does for me without asking for a penny on a daily basis. I'd do anything within my means to see a smile on his face. That's partnership. That's love. That's companionship. I also saw that you mentioned some mental health stuff in ASD. I don't always catch on to social cues and I certainly miss some obvious stuff. But to not consider my partner at all is baffling. To get upset that they asked for a very small monetary item is beyond me entirely. I'm sorry. But you're not asking for his money. But rather two very simple things. A small gift or a payment for so much you do for him. That's companionship. This man sees you as a servant. Use the time you spend taking care of him to study and get a better job to get out of this poverty. You've been together for seven years and don't live together? For the past five, you've basically done everything for him? Are you sure he likes you the same amount you like him? I know it's blunt. But it's honest. First of all you have legally no obligations to any of that money. But it seems like he's pretty irresponsible with money if he goes right away on a junk shopping. Spree. You might want to reconsider your choice in your partner. I think we can all agree you don't have a partner. You might be in a relationship. But there doesn't appear to be any partnership here in any way. The fact that he is poor and using the money to go on an online shopping binge to buy a bunch of trash says a lot about him. Seems like he will continue to be poor for the foreseeable future. Given the fact that he spends money frivolously when he has it, is poor in general, and also refuses to buy you even small things when he just got a large sum of money even though he's spending a bunch of money on trash for himself. Why are you with this guy? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.